Hi there, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can be able to update your old KRA pin on ITAX. And these are KRA pins that were created back in 1916, 1970, 1980, even 1990s. And you find that when you want to maybe file for returns, you are being asked to update your KRA pin or you want to access some services from the bank and you're being asked can you please update your KRA pin to uh, today's itax portal so in this video i'm going to show you how to do that step by step so without further ado let's get started Of course, the first thing is to log in using your KRA pin. So I want to show you how this KRA pin is showing. So if I come and uh, click on continue, you realize that I have to update this pin. So how can we do this? First, I'll click here and then here it's individual. Click on Kenyan and here you'll put the national ID number for the client and then you'll put the date of birth as it is on the ID. And I'll do that pretty quick. And then I will answer this, which is 82 and click submit, then OK. Now we can be able now to update this on iPage. And here we are going to fill in the required field. So first I'm going to put here the employee's profession just uh, like that. And then uh, huh, these are the details for the parents and all that. I want to scroll down here and put the building, which is Aero Productions uh, Cyber, just like that. And then on uh, LR number, I'll put there not applicable. On street stroke road, I'm going to put there the street stroke the road, uh, just like that. Then on the city, I'm going to put here Kakamega, just like that. And then on the county, I'm going to put there Kakamega. And here it's Kakamega East as the district. And the area is Shinyalu. Aha. Uh -huh. Then here we'll put the postal code. So you look for the postal code for your client or for yourself. And then put here the PO box, just like that. I'll put here the phone number. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll type in... Uh, that is uh, correct. Then here I'll put the functional email address. Remember they will be sending their uh, OTP. So you must put here the correct email address. Click OK and then send OTP. Then I'll scroll down here. You have to accept these terms of privacy. And then here I'll select no. Also here I'll select no, no. I'll go back and put the OTP, which was sent to the email address, just like that. Then I'll scroll down and click on next. Now here, you are not going to do anything. Click next. And here I'll put no, no, no. And then click next. Here, we are going to just click next. On the remarks, I'm just going to write here, pin update just like that and then click submit we have an error please select confirmation of pin certificate name and here we have to confirm that this is the pin for this client just click yes and then move down and click next click next click next and then scroll down and click next and here click submit you have registered agree la 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 primary email for communications just click ok and click OK. And voila, we've been able to update his details on iPage. And now this KRA pin is in the iTax portal. Now, if you search this on iTax, you are going to get the very details that we've just put in for our client. Now you can go ahead and maybe file the returns you wanted to file or take this receipt to your bank, maybe if you wanted to open a bank account or whatever reason you wanted to use your KRA pin for. I hope that this video helped you. And if that is the case, 
please boop that like button. You can also share this video to your friends so that they can learn how to update their old KRA pin on iTax portal. Now, if you like my general content, please subscribe with the notifications on so that you can be the first person to be updated when we upload a video on this channel. Soon I'll be launching my website where you can get a step-by-step -step tutorial in theory form for those who like detailed explanations rather than watching a video. But again, I'll be attaching a video for those who would like to read and as well watch the video to just back up what I'm saying. And my aim with this website is to help you access free resources from Aero Productions. And like I usually say, Aero Productions is and will always be free for you. At this moment, I want you to click anywhere on the screen to watch our next video and I'm pretty sure that I will see you in that video. Peace.